You hear that jam? That's classic right here. Feeling it. Welcome back. It's been a while. <laughs> Psych. Um, I'm kind of like puppy dog smiley today. <laughs> um, this song is called Hey Lover by uh, LL Cool J, I think, and Voice to Men. Might be, yeah. Um, so your boy Mikey Smiles has a little crush on... Um, no one tangible, no one I've ever met in person, but us. <laughs> An online uh, personality. And, um, oh my god, I'm cheesy. Um, but here's a problem. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I, alright. Um,. Alright, the problem is, is that, I, you know what, I think my gaydar is pretty accurate, sort of, kind of-ish, but, um, I mean, I was like, yeah, d definitely, I even <laughs> shared it with my homegirls, I was like, yo, peep this cat out, um, and I was just like, yo, what do you think? They were like, oh, yeah, I think so. Um, but then I saw other videos that he did, which was, um, which were not, oh, yeah, I'm gay. Or, you know, it was kind of like, trying to be like, oh, look what I got here. Trying to be like this. Yeah, girls, this. Mm, yeah, mm. All that kind of jazz. Um... Hmm, but the clothes don't make the man, do they, right? So, um, I don't know. I was just like, damn, shorty is fine. <sighs> you know how I like them light skin and mix up ones, you know? <laughs> but with this, this the web blog is about it's about um being gay and being proud or being open about it the reason why I'm asking is because uh some of you may know that I want to get back into theater and all that jazz and acting etc etc and I we know Hollywood and much of the arts you know consist of a lot of gay people um in front of the camera as well as behind but I just wanted to know, or you hear your opinion rather, if you feel that one should, I guess, kind of be proud of who they are and say, yo, alright, I'm not, I'm here, I'm queer, kind of. But there's a different, another perspective that people who don't put their sexuality in front, you know, don't have the little banner, yay, you know, um... But then some others who it's much more identifiable. And this comes from the place where I was like, on Tuesday, I work with adolescents. And, um, well, there's a daytime program, which are much younger adolescents, like in their middle school-ish um, ages. And at work, the only way that I could get away with wearing jeans and, you know, um not really professional, you know, dress shirt and slacks and tie, is if I wear more form-fitting clothes. <laughs> and I'm not wearing, like, you know, tight, you know, tight stuff, whatever, but, um... <laughs> this is one girl. She, like, she loves attention, and I don't... She's really pretty, and I don't give her no type of play. No type of attention, whatever. I, I, you know, apart from the professionalism of my, me as an instructor, as well as her being client, I'm, I'm like, don't even like talk to her. And she like, she touches, she try to grab, and then she's like, she's like, are you gay? And I, oh my god, you guys are gonna be so mad at me. And I said, <laughs> um, damn it, I said. 
All right, it's not only because it was in front of her, but it was the other students, about eight other of them. I was running the, the, the tension, and I was like, nah, no, no, I said, I said no, but I kind of like, whatever. But I felt so bad. I'm like, damn it. What happened to the rainbow pride, uh, rainbow power? Um, but I had to make up for it. Later on, in that, um, one of my, my other sessions in the evening, um, it came up, the issue, and then I, I actually processed it and talked about it with, um, with the other clients. They're much older. Um, so, my, I guess the topic that I'm trying to, you know, shoot at you is if you feel that someone who retracts from openly being gay is fine, or someone who is, like, for example, myself, I'm already out there. I've been out for about uh, 10 years. Yeah. And I'm too far out to go back in. You know what I mean? And there are difficulties because being number one, being ethnic, um, that's a big like setback. So, and the other thing is being West Indian in the Caribbean culture. It's frowned upon. You know what I mean? So... Maybe it's like, I guess it's like, sort of like, you know, like I did say, kind of maybe it is trailblazing. <sighs> but, um, I want to, I don't want to be one of those, you know, celebrities, or those fam you know, who are like, they're kind of like, nah, disclosing it, whatever. And then one day, they pull a last band, uh, Lance. Bass or um, Dr. Um, Doogie Hauser or <laughs> whatever. Um, and I like, I've I looked at Ellen and I looked at Rosie O'Donnell and I'm, and I'm like, wow, you know, they're very, you know, strong persons and I like that. I really like that. And I really, really admire that. It's that they're there and this is who they are. But one thing is that they're, they're white women. So it kind of makes it harder for me, you know, as opposed to them. But I'm sure with women all together, it's much easier. Because in a world which is sort of heterosexually still, you know, they have the upper hand that the heterosexual white male. It's kind of harder to, you know, try to crack in and um, kind of break the mold. So that's why the little crush that I have, <laughs> that's a clue. Um, you know, I understand what he's going through, but let me know what you guys think about, uh, <laughs> about, I guess, coming, going back into the closet because you want to propel your career forward, all right? Deuces, mucho lovo. Sorry for it. Oh, thanks for sharing all that stuff with me. Bye.